you remember last week, we thought about monks and their rules of living, helping them be more like Jesus, being prayerful, kind, helpful people. One of the things that is really important for monks, one of their rules for living, hospitality. Hospitality sounds like... And that's kind of right, but originally more this. Hospitality means caring for people, especially strangers and foreigners. Monasteries provided a bed and a meal for travellers, or a place to care for the sick. Over time we called one a hotel and the other a hospital. Both of course provide hospitality and both can be found in this really well-known story that Jesus told. The Miracle of Mercy, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Oh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people, and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Did you get the reason why Jesus told the story? 
he wanted to explain how we can do the really important thing, love God and love others. That's why Christians have always wanted to be hospitable, to care for others, especially the stranger and the foreigner. It's doing what God wants them to do. And when Christians do it, they show they love others and they love God. Hospitality. Being hospitable. It's a good thing for everyone to practice. How can you be hospitable in school? How can you be hospitable as a school together? Showing care and love for others, especially strangers and new people. Welcoming and helping. Perhaps if you have any ideas, you could tell me. When I need a neighbour, were you there? Were you there? I needed a neighbour, were you there? You know the creed and the colour and the name don't matter. I was hungry and thirsty, were you there, were you there? Hungry and thirsty, were you there? The creed and the colour and the name don't matter, were you I was cold and I was naked, were you there, were you there? I was cold and naked, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name, they don't matter, were you? When the crosses were burning, were you there? Were you there? When the crosses were burning, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name, they don't matter, were you there? When I need a God, I needed a healer, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name, they don't matter, were you there? When they took me to prison, were you there? Were you there? Hell, they took me to prison, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name, they don't matter, were you there? Wherever you travel, I'll be there, I'll be there. Wherever you travel, I'll be there And the creed And your colour And your name They all won't matter I'll be there You'll find me there